Alright lads, this is Fenner from Frenetic Array. I'm doing another replay analysis. This guy called Frozen has sent me a replay. And I'm just going to read the message he sent me. He said, Hi, really enjoyed your replay analysis and wondered whether you would like to look over one of my replays. I'm a Gold Zerg player on EU and this is a ZVP on Cloud Kingdom. Everything seems to go okay. I see him take a third and then he expand to a fourth. And he basically rolls in and stomps me. I have some ideas on what went wrong, but would appreciate your comments, especially as they are likely, especially as there are likely a lot of things that I am missing, and may have much more fundamental issues which need to be worked on. Specifically, when I see his third go up, I have 2k minerals and lots of larvae. Should I build units as I am about to expand myself? If so, what unit roaches? As I see him come across the map, I engage as he is on his way to my base. Would it have been better to wait until the units I am building? busy building come out, any suggestions on how to engage better? So since this is gold level, I'm going to expect to be a lot of mistakes in the early game and the engagement kind of, losing the engagement kind of comes as a result of that. I have quickly looked through the replay so I kind of know what's going to happen but um, I haven't looked into it in too much detail but we've got 15 spawning pool coming up here nice and standard. Um, should be sending out a drone to go get the hatchery right now. Go, 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 go. There we go. Yeah, that could have been sent out a bit earlier. Now he's gone for Overlord before the hatchery. So that kind of came a result of not sending out the drone early enough. So always send the drone out first to get the hatchery before you build the Overlord. That'll help out a lot with your economy. You don't really need to tag the probe like this either. Um, since you have the Overlord over the natural, you can see if it's cannon rushing or anything like that. You've got this Overlord going into the natural as well, so you can see exactly what he's doing. You see he's gone for Forge first, and now he's going for Nexus. The best route for this Overlord now is to go check out the gas in the main, which is going now, and then send it back over here. Well, sending the, um, where's this one? He should go over here and look at the third base. We've still got this uh, probe tagged in the base. Um, you really don't need to tag it that long, so a um, bit of a... It's cutting into your economy quite a bit. And we're getting up to 20 supply now, so it should be taking a third around now. But it looks like he's going to go for a queen first. Another overlord. This, this, These overlord timings are really bad, and they're going to make your economy so much worse. You've only seen one gas in the main as well, and he has, he's not mining it yet, so that's kind of scary. Um, he could be doing some really weird play there, but we're just going to assume that he's just not playing very well because he is gold level. But you should be expecting two gas by about four minutes at this point. So this guy should be taking another gas, or you should be starting to get concerned about some crazy all in. But we have taken the third base now, um, about 25 supply. I guess that's okay, but you really want to take it about 20 supply. It's it's the most it's the best way to get the economy up. You can take it after the second queen as well, but get it nice and early. You don't really want to oversaturate on your main like you have. You got three drones than you need on your main now four. So if you take it earlier, then you can get more. Uh, better saturation and one thing is you've still got the main rallied to the main whereas you should rally it to the natural now so you can get that 16 drone saturation nicely on both bases if this goes up to like 24 drone saturation oh there we go we got rally to the natural there so that's not that painful but um, it would be better if you had perfect saturation um, we've got another queen on the right we've got the creep tumor you can get a creep tumor out there um, should be injecting with that right now so let's have a look at the injects on this fairly decent injects um, she should... no, 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 that's okay. The next one that pops can work but These timings are kind of weird, so... I really think you should work on your macro timings, like when to take hatcheries, when to build queens, when to build overlords, because we just floated up to 500 minerals there. That's really bad, especially at this stage of the game. One benchmark we want to be looking at in ZVP is these gas timings are okay. They're a bit late, but... You know, everything else has been a bit delayed, so that's kind of a result of that. But what we want to be looking for in ZVP, before we start blaming engagements and, you know, other things like that, we want to be looking at a benchmark of about 70, um, yeah, 70 supply before at least 8 minutes. So, I don't think he's going to reach that in that game. I'd be pretty surprised if he, surprised if he does. So, we'll see. Like around now is when I would be reaching about 70 supplies, 710 to 730. So right now this guy, let's see how far behind this guy is. So we'll speed this up and we'll see when he gets to 70 supply. So right now he's one minute late. So he's about he's about one minute and 20 seconds late 
on the benchmark. And he's also building lings actually, um, building lings before fully saturating the third. Let's have a look at the saturation here, what we got. These lings aren't rallied anywhere either, so definitely rally those lings out. Uh, I'm not sure why you built those lings. Um, oh, the overlord positioning here is pretty bad. You definitely want an overlord on this cliff. Then you can see everything that's going on. You can see that he's got three cannons, which is pretty crazy, and he's not going to be able to do any aggression when he's got three ca three cannons. Uh, you, you are sacking in the main now, so you can see these three, four gates, and a robo, so you could actually assume robo expand now, but you do see more gates going down, so since there's more than four gates and a robo, now you can stand a, kind of start guessing that it's going to be a two base all in. Um, we got these lings. Are we up to saturation yet? We're kind of there. We got 57 drones. That's that's fairly decent. We got the macro hatch as well. Kind of need a queen on there, and we got vision on the third. So he's not taking a third. So I think one of the questions from this guy was: I see his third go up, blah blah blah. I go up to 2k minerals and have lots of lava. So one thing we should be doing: if he hasn't taken a third, we should be assuming a two base all in, unless you've scouted his entire base. You scouted his base here and you saw like seven gates and a robo and also the gate at the front. Oh, what is this? That's kind of uh, enthusiastic, but we'll just ignore that. Anyway, uh, yeah, you've seen seven, you've seen eight gates total and a robo. So this is pretty much, it has to be an all-in. So what you want to be doing at this point, you don't want to drone anymore. You just want to pump more roaches and links. And that's pretty much all you want to do until he moves out. The only time you want to stop pumping roaches and lings when he's on, like, you don't need to get this two gas right now. You just want to be trying to defend this two base all in. And I'm getting a message, so let's put myself on busy. So you don't want to get these two gases when he's still on two base. You want to wait until he takes the third and then get those gases. Start droning up. But right now we're on 2.5k minerals. We just want to be pumping units. You don't need to save this lava. You just want to pump units because we're assuming that he's doing a two base hole and he hasn't got a third he's got loads of gates and he's also got that robo so it's kind of kind of looks like an immortal sentry all in and this is kind of the the bad part because you're stacking lava but it's not efficient like you, you got three lava on here you could have a queen on there injecting all day and get up to 25 lava but if you're producing all the time You'll also be producing that three lava, like, I'm not even sure how often it is. I think it's 20 seconds you get one extra lava, so you're missing out on a lot of lava by not actually building units. And now you're droning again, so there's there's a lot of mistakes here. Um, just kind of not knowing what to do because he doesn't take a third base, and you kind of just sat there like, you're sat in the dark and you don't know what's going on. And you're just kind of assuming things like, oh, is he going to take a third base? Is he going to two base all in? But the easiest way to do it is just like, has he got a third base? No, he hasn't got a third base. Okay, I'm going to pump units. If he takes a third base, then you can be like, ah, stop units, pump drones, take a fourth base, take the fifth and sixth gas. That's the easiest way to do it. And the only other scenario where you wouldn't want to do that is if you get a scout on the entire base and all you see is like, all you see is four gates and a robo. Because that pretty much means it's um, four gate robo expand. But the thing is, like, it's so hard to get a scout on the entire base unless you sent an overseer in and you sent it right around the back. Like, people will b build three gates there just to try and fake it, and then also build a couple of gates back there. So the easiest way to do it is just see the third and react off that. Right now, we haven't got the vision on this tower, so that's pretty bad. We've got no idea he's moving out, and we're all the way over on this side of the map. And there we see the third going down. Right now we should be more than maxed. We've got 3k minerals and we should have been pumping units all that time. So we, right now we should be maxed. We've got overlord blocked again. So yeah, I think the issues with this game is that um, the early game, you're like one minute behind on macro, which for gold league it's not that bad. You know, you can live with that. But um, obviously you want to work on that. I'd, I'd say go to single player, um, look for a tutorial on how to do a three hatch. I've done one on my channel, you can check that out. And just practice that in single player, just over and over and again, until you get to at least 70 supply by 7.30. Like, you're probably not going to hit um, 70 supply by 7.10 for a while, since you are a gold player. But, you know, hitting it at 7.30, that's pretty decent, and you can get away with that. So, now we cancelled the third, we should still be pumping units, because he hasn't retaken it, we've got vision of it. And 
This engage is gonna be really bad. Like, getting caught out of position with only 150 supply against the Protoss on two base is not gonna go well. But anyway, so I'm just gonna pause the game here because the rest of the game is kind of irrelevant. This engagement doesn't really matter because everything up to this point has not gone well. The problem. Well, I've already said what the problem is, so let's have a look what else he asked. When I see a third go up, I have 2k minerals and lots of lava. Yeah, so that's what I've said. The problem there is that you don't really know what to do when he's sat there on two base, and you haven't really got the information that you need. Um, just go with the third information, like I said. Um, if so, what unit? Roaches. Um, Roachling is good. If you start getting up into the high supply numbers, like he's sat on two base and you get up to 180 supply, then you might want to think about throwing down a Spire because he might be going Colossus Tech. But you should have Overseer over scouted by that point. If he's on two base and he's going Colossus Tech, then you want to throw down a Spire and get the 5th and 6th gas, and also get a bunch of Corruptors with your Roachling. Because uh, two base Colossus Tech, which is pretty rare, but um, it does sometimes happen, can take a massive dump on Roachling, and that's the one thing that can catch you off guard with the Roachling, but Roachling is good against everything else, you can just pump Roachling. And if you get to 200 supply, you can start throwing down spines or something, but it's a very rare scenario where you're going to get to 200 supply be before they push out, unless they're doing some really silly play. Um, what are the questions? As I see him come across the map, I engage as he's on the way to my base. Would it have been better to wait until the units I am busy building come out? Um, I mean, let's assume the game went a lot better and we, we, we were producing units the whole time. He's moving across the map. The best thing to do against Sentry Mortal, we want to bait the force field. So you want to be putting all those eggs that you're building straight into your control group. Just um, shift them into your control group. And then they'll automatically come to your army. So we, if he's coming out with Sentry Mortal, we want to try and... If we've got Roach Speed and Link Speed, assuming that, because sometimes you don't have Roach Speed in time, but assuming we've got both of those, and he's coming down here, we want to try and bait Force Fields. So we're going to run in with the Roach Link, and then he's going to throw Force Fields down. Maybe like a couple of Links will get caught, but then you pull back, make a nice Concave, and then he'll start pushing forward again, and then you push in again. And then, you know, just rinse and repeat, and then your army slowly gets bigger, his army slowly gets bigger, but he's wasting Force Fields at the same time. Um, what else have we got? Would it have been better to wait until the... Oh, I've read that already. Any suggestions on how to engage, but I've just said that. So yeah, um, definitely check out a 3-hatch build. And as for reacting to the third, if there's no third, just pump units. If there's a third, stop pumping. Assuming you want to go to late game, stop pumping units. Drone up your third, get the gases and take a fourth. Get an infester pit get a hive, get a spire, and then go to broods. As soon, like, as soon as he takes a third, you can just drone like crazy. That's kind of how it works. So I hope this helped you out. I kind of uh, kept going over a few points, um, repeating a few points. But yeah, hopefully it helps you out, dude. And hopefully you get some more wins, Frozen. Thanks for uh, sending me the replay. If anyone else wants to send me a replay, go ahead and send me one. Leave a, uh, leave a nice message so... I know what to look at in the replay if you're struggling with specific things. Also try and uh, leave your league in the subject or the message as well because I've got a lot of, well I haven't got a lot, I've got a couple of um, replays sent to me and they haven't got the league or anything in them, there's not much in the message and I don't really want to look into replays where there's not much of a message, I don't know what league the guy is or anything like that. So yeah, if you do send me a replay, make sure you leave a bit of a message so I know what I'm looking at. Thanks for watching guys, peace.